Chapter 2, The Hood. This can be found on page 32 in your book if you're reading along. There's also a picture of the filth and the Ida B. Wells complex. The Hood. Our neighborhood is a fun neighborhood if you know what you're doing. If you act like a little kid in this neighborhood, you're not going to last too long. Because if you play childish games in the ghetto, you're going to find a childish bullet in your childish brain. If you live in the ghetto, when you're 10, you know everything you're not supposed to know. When I was 10, I knew where drugs came from. I knew about every different kind of gun. I knew about sex. I was a kid in age, but my mind had the reality of a grown-up. Because I seen these things every day. Like, when I was 8 years old, my cousin Willie had a friend named Baby Tony and another friend, Little Cecil. They used to hang out, watch TV, go to the park, and hoop and sell drugs. They all went to jail. When baby Tony came out, he was walking through the park when a boy lit him up, blew his face off. His face was entirely blown off. And then a couple of days later, little Cecil sold somebody a dummy bag of plaster from off the walls. So the man who was using it came back and asked him for his money back. Little Cecil took off running and the man shot him and Cecil was dead. That was both of my cousin's friends that died in one week. And I heard about this when I was eight. I had just seen baby Tony the day before he died. 